I could stand up here all day and tell you stories of our program participants and how your generosity made such a big impact. But I think it's much better for you to hear it firsthand from another one of our program participants who I was privileged enough to meet last year, Donna Lucrecchio, who's going to share with us her adoptive family experience. and I've been with Community Housing Network for 21 months now. Before that, because of my mental health and substance abuse issues, I was chronically homeless and had made a place of my own in over seven years. A little over two and a half years ago, I found out I was pregnant, and not knowing what else to do, I went into drug rehab and started treatment for my mother, other mental health issues. After that, I went to a shelter for pregnant women, and that's where I found the Lord and started to have hope for my future. I was directed to Community Housing Network. Without them, I wouldn't have been able to keep and care for my daughter, Vegas. When she was just two weeks old, we moved into our very own place. I'm now in school for cosmetology and on my way to being fully able to provide for her on my own. During the time when I was sick and homeless, the holidays were the worst, especially Christmas. I just wanted to sleep through it and sunk deeper into my depression. Now that I'm better, I know different. Christmas is a wonderful holiday that I look forward to and will teach Vegas to do the same. I'll teach her what it's really about. Although it's not the presents, it just feels so good to see the excitement on your child's face opening gifts Christmas morning. And when you're young, that's one of the things you look forward to all year. Last year, I didn't know how I was gonna be able to give my daughter a special Christmas with gifts under the tree, as I'm grateful every day just to have a roof over our heads. Then Jesse, my supportive specialist from Community Housing Network, told me about the Adoptive Family Program. She even said I can make a wish list for myself, which was above and beyond anything I'd hoped for because all I cared about was giving Vegas a Christmas. When I went to pick up the presents, they were all ripped so nice, I cried. It was so overwhelming that complete strangers did this for us. I'm not sure if people realize what a blessing they were to us and to others without family during the holidays, but for that day, they were like our family. I want people to know that this is not just a handout. I'm working toward my goals, and I can't wait for the day that I can give back and make someone as happy as I was that day. The look on Vegas' face Christmas morning when she came out and seen the tree all lit up with presents around it all for her was priceless. I have her baby book filled with pictures so that we will never forget, but I won't anyways, but <laughs> none of this would have been possible without the Adoptive Family Program. So for that, I am thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, Jenna. Adoptive Family began in 2004.